Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, I'm Lisa, and today we are making one darn good dessert. It's a gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan caramel cheesecake, and it's extremely creamy and decadent. And while I'm not vegan, I became obsessed with vegan desserts when I lived in Bali for two months. So I have two other vegan cheesecake recipes on my website that are reader favorites, so make sure to check those out. But I have a feeling that this version is soon gonna jump into that number one spot. So let me show you how to make it. To get started, you'll need to soak four cups of cashews overnight. And to make this video flow smoothly, I've already gone ahead and done that. But for now, just set these aside because we're gonna start on our salted caramel sauce first. So you'll add one can of full fat coconut milk, a half a cup of coconut sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt to a saucepan and give it a stir. Bring this sauce to a boil and keep a close eye on it because it can boil over very quickly. Once it reaches that boil, immediately reduce the heat to low and then simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. The color will change from light brown to a dark amber, and that's when you know it's done. Turn off the heat and add one teaspoon of coconut oil and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and give it another stir. Pour the caramel sauce into a glass container and let it cool. You can also make this sauce the day before as it will stay good in the refrigerator for several weeks. All right, next up is our cheesecake crust. And to make this, you'll add one cup of almonds, one cup of shredded coconut, 10 medjool dates, and a half a tablespoon of coconut oil to a food processor. And as an always important reminder, don't forget to pit your dates before you toss them into the food processor. Turn the food processor on high and let it go for about a minute or until the texture resembles coarse sand. Before we put this into our springform pan, I find it's always best to line the bottom with parchment paper first. Then go ahead and pour in your crumbly crust and flatten it with your fingers. If your fingers start sticking at all, you can also use a small piece of parchment paper to flatten the crust. Then set this aside. Now we'll make the cheesecake filling. So add one cup of water, three quarters cup of maple syrup or honey if you're not vegan, two thirds cup coconut oil, a half a cup of lemon juice, and the scraped insides of two vanilla beans into a high-powered blender. Lastly, you'll drain and rinse those cashews and add those to the blender as well. Turn your blender on high and blend for about two to three minutes. Because this filling is thick, you may need to give the canister a good shake to help it along and then blend some more. When you're done, the filling will be super smooth and creamy. Pour this into your springform pan and give it a little shake to make sure that it's fully settled. Then place this in the freezer for at least five hours. When your cheesecake is done, it will be nice and firm. Remove it from the pan and place it onto a cake stand. You do want to let this thaw about 20 to 30 minutes before serving, so remember to plan for that. Now comes the fun part. And as you can see, your salted caramel sauce has lightened a bit in color and it's nice and thick. Pour the caramel sauce on top of the cheesecake and use an offset spatula to flatten the top. To get those fun drizzles down the side, just push a little sauce over the edge. And that's it, a creamy and delicious vegan caramel cheesecake that everyone will love, whether they're vegan or not. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss my next video.